Australian owned and operated, EcoStructures are the premier supplier of global experiential accommodation solutions. EcoStructures has developed a range of tents and cabins that are easily customizable to suit whatever your escape calls for. In this video, we are going to show the building of a 6.3 metre tent on a difficult site in Mudgee, New South Wales. When choosing your location for an eco tent or cabin, the site needs to be surveyed, taking into account the contours, site compaction and wind terrain. Often the wind turbulence on steep areas compared to flat areas is two to three times more powerful and this will need to be considered in your planning phase. If you choose to use concrete footings, you will need to measure the footings heights to identify whether you need lift or bracing kits. This should be done prior to placing your order. This site is slightly unlevel, so requires some extensions which can be cut on site. A fantastic alternative to concrete is the Eco Anchor, an Australian invention handling two tonne of downward pressure and four tonnes of upward pressure as a starting point, which can be increased should larger loads be required. These are a quick, easy and cost-effective way to secure the building into almost any surface. Unfortunately, this site is too rocky, so eco anchors were not appropriate for this project. These can however be used in most terrains and soil types. Concrete footings can be done as a pad footing, or where the soil doesn't permit, a strip footing. Once the materials arrive on site, lay the tent or cabin out in position. All parts are easily numbered to be used for fast and efficient assembly. After fixing the footings to the concrete using concrete screw bolts, you can begin to erect the steel frame. Start with the subfloor structure and corner posts. Begin with the outer beams, securing your floor joists. Then place your cement sheeting and or decking on top which provides a safe working platform for the higher elements of the build. To begin with, it is okay for the frame to not be perfectly straight and they should not be tightened until the whole frame is up. Brace kits should be installed early to ensure the building is sturdy on uneven sides. Once the frame is built, pull and straighten the building before rattling the bolts up and securing the structure. The next step is to install the canvas and shade sail. The canvas walls slide into the rope track, which is then attached onto the steel beams. Be sure that the canvas is not overstretched to avoid future problems with the zips. Next, the PVC or shade cloth is put on to give shade to work under and protects the canvas. Lay it on the roof folded out flat with a rope to pull it over the structure. Once it is close to the hook bolts, they can be wound into place. The sail should be tightened so there is little slack, but be careful not to over tighten as this could damage the sail. The next step is to install the ceiling, starting with the central threaded rod and then attaching each end of the ceiling to the upper beams. If you are using front glass doors, they will need to be set into the cement sheet. The glass doors can be fully manufactured and transported to site, or it can be flat packed to remote locations. On site, the simple assembly drawings are used to build the frames. Once all the canvas is installed, it's time for the internal fittings. For example, vinyl plank flooring, further electrical and plumbing, and all the final fixtures. No matter the terrain or climate, EcoStructure's range of products robustly withstands what nature delivers – rain, wind, snow or extreme heat. From design to delivery, our team are here to guide you through the process. From floor to fly, we ensure everything is taken care of. From mountaintop to desert plains, EcoStructure's will go beyond.